Hey everyone, this is Day Trader Rockstar, and uh, this is the beginning of the uh, H HPS or the high probability watch list for next week, which will be uh, uh, December, what do we have? 16th? December 16th or 15th? 15th, I do believe the 15th on Monday. Yes, right now I just wanted to start this. I'm using the, uh, the IB um, um, book trader here just to take a uh, ES trade here. So I'm just in right now here. I just want to jump on here, show you this trade. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, my, my, um, my entry is 14 and a quarter and it's really based off of this, uh, wedge pattern. Uh, let me move close this up here a little. It's a pretty decent wedge pattern. I'm still using the December contract. I haven't switched over to March probably, uh, you know, of course I will next week, but, uh, I just have all my, uh, my lines and stuff. I'm liking this, uh, liking this setup here. So I am using the, uh, using the, uh, December contract still. So this is a good wedge pattern. There's a good shot that we actually move up here. And um, I know the market's been kind of dragging here, but I, I do see a good potential for a rally, late day rally going into next week. We're getting closer to closer to Christmas. I think people are going to start to realize this might be an opportunity. So I'm going to let this ride here. I don't have a bracket order in. Just going to let it ride up here. We're using the, uh, again, the book trader on the IB platform. I was showing you the um, the stage five DOM. I also have um, I also have a bracket trader third party uh, application for um, for IB which um, I had to reinstall and I'm having issues with that that's why I'm using this right now and you can see it follows the profit up here and again it's only one contract I'm in but I have a feeling that this could give us a good little uh, trade here you can see it for 72.99 now 85 will come up and then hopefully we'll get all the way up here to uh, uh, way up here so um, so here we go nice little flag break a uh, little wedge breakout nice little move it's actually uh, looking pretty good like I said this is um, take a look at that five minute chart also let me bring this over here been a very uh, unorganized today getting everything up and running because I had this software issue with my IB and I had to reinstall everything multiple times I'm still in the process of doing that, but I did see this little wedge pattern, and the wedge pattern combined with the uh, the embedded five minute stochastics, very weak here, the five minute. Uh, but again, you can see that little wedge pattern playing out. The hourly, well, you know, just getting oversold again, and uh, there's a lot of interesting things here. Now, we also have a 60 minute time frame, a little trend line that we kind of broke down through, but kind of hanging on here. So if we can hang on here, we might have some upside might actually have some uh, nice upside here and let's go back here to the ES I see some volume coming in here too so that's what we're starting off here and again just to start off um, you know normally I would take these as uh, scalps I'm wondering if we have a bigger move o overall. You know, this wedge pattern is kind of breaking out to the upside, getting through that 20 period moving average, getting through the 50, trying to get a 20 50 crossover. And uh, again, it's so much easier to take that, you know, 70 to 80, $80 uh, pop here and then wait for that uh, rotation. But I, th I like this as a longer term um, setup. So we're going to let this play out and we're going to start taking a look at some of the uh, the trade setting up for next week now in a couple of these and again if I'm looking at a, a potential rally going into uh, well the week before Christmas we might even have some you know still some fluctuation in the market going uh, going into next week but as we get closer and closer to that Christmas uh, time frame I think that people are going to realize that this might be a great opportunity and uh, you know I put out a chart this morning if we go out to last last December back here I think you're gonna be it'll be interesting to see this also let me zoom in here and then go all the way back here to last December and you can see we actually pulled back to mid-December basically right to the 18th I think we actually popped here on the 18th yeah that was 12 18 but you know even on the 16th we started uh, you know kind of moving back up this is off of that lower channel line so you know what? We're I'm always loving these big candles. These big candles coming into this pullback have been really good for continuation, and we might see that. I mean, there's no guarantee on anything in this market, but 
this is what I'm looking for, you know, and this could be actually happening uh, very soon. So we're going to look for that big, you know, candle. So we have that pullback. It's, it's a steep pullback. It seems like more of a, you know, definitely more of a news-related event as we take down some, some levels and uh, the oil trade and everything that's pushing this one down. But with that said, the Christmas rally has been uh, a key factor in trading, and it's hard to go against that right now. And we have that daily here getting oversold. So we have that daily oversold. We have the 60 oversold. We have that wedge pattern. Is this spot right now one of the best uh, setups right now in the market? Well, I mean, it, I would let this thing run as far as it could. If we get up to uh, 2032, I'd like to do that. You know? Um, so, again, you know, first stock we're going to be talking about is Disney, DIS. Started that position today. It's a nice little pullback. And, uh, you know, if you're looking at a Christmas rally, you're going to look at stocks that perform really good and actually end of the year rebalancing, window dressing, portfolio, uh, you know, of, uh, yeah, window dressing basically. It's window dressing is where you get the good stocks, you get them in your portfolio, you take the bad stocks, you sell them, tax selling. Well, uh, Disney here going into Christmas has to be one of the better looking ones here as we pull back here slightly. 60 minute chart, not even, but a nice little pullback here. Nice little pullback. So we were waiting on that, but Disney looks really good. Probably one of the better bets as we get closer to Christmas. I scaled in today and it does look good. There we go. Market here pushing back up. Let's get the uh, let's get the Dom trader up. I mean the book trader up here now and see what we're up to. So right now we're up to uh, about 140 bucks. 170 actually. Uh, 160 dollars profit loss. It keeps it tracked right there. 172 now. Now we can take that off any time. Uh, but like I said, we have a potential here for a, a nice rally. So I don't usually get in, you know, if I'm going to say, uh, you know, the combination of the, uh, the wedge pattern, the five minute, I wish I had multiple contracts. I would probably take one off into that 290, 2019 level, but I also think there's the potential for more here. So I'm going to hold on to this. We're going to see how far we could go with this. All right. So we just continue to ride that up and I'll look at the next stock here. Again, with the Disney, you know, it's not much we can talk about as buy triggers and stuff like that. That's normally a reserve for stocks that are maybe pulling back to multiple. This is just a, a key stock that we always have to get into. Um, Oshkosh here, acting pretty good today. It is pulling back, but, you know, with the oil prices getting hit, I do feel like these are going to start to react on uh, better uh, oil and gas prices. And you can see the Oshkosh here, kind of pull back, flagged out. A little minor flag here again. We're kind of coiled up. It's not the best, but it's definitely moving in the right direction now. And there's that spooky music to help us out, even on this one. I see some red on the screen now. CHK also putting a little double bottom bounce in here. We did kind of flush it a little, but big reversal kit uh, on the CHK right now. And um, that's that right there. And what else we have here? We're going to continue on. Two seventy seventeen. Again, we're looking at twenty nineteen up here. We're going to probably run into a little resistance right up in that twenty eighteen and a half area, just based off of a previous attempt to get through that level plus that two hundred period moving average. But with me, uh, you know what? Friday type of reversal would be uh, ideal going into next week. A little volume came in there, there too. So CHK still looking good. 2018, we continue to push higher. Disney here pushing back up here. Oshkosh here pushing back up. So let's go to the next one. Uh, the Mondelez MDLZ. I got to put on the... the I gotta put on some crickets in the background so I know what's going on. It's real nice with the crickets. Um, Mondelez here. Oh, where 
where's that Mondelez? Right there we go. So we did pull back further into this flag, and we're just getting oversold now. It was a breakdown. I would rather have seen it hold that 20 period moving average. Starting to rotate back up. We're starting to see Disney start to rotate back up. We're starting to see RSX here start to rotate back up. Tractor Supply Company looking pretty good. And I also want to talk about another wedge pattern, the FSLR. First solar. Started a small position in this one off of this little pattern here. And again, maybe oil and gas affecting the, uh, the solar stocks, but this is also a nice pattern. So if we get that rally, Mova, we're going to get this to move up pretty aggressively, maybe up to the 46 level. Right now it's 42.61. Disney here still pushing a little bit higher. SPXU here pulling back. That, might, that must mean that the market here is pushing a little bit higher here. And there we are, 2019 here. Let's go to our book trader. I hate to give all that back here. Right, we're up to $247 profit on that one contract here, just off of that that um that setup and let's take a look at this on the cash chart here fast spx and um yeah, the daily is okay. It's underlying trend line. Five minute hourly here crossing, just about ready to cross back up. Hi, Tukalert. Now get down and give me 20. Oh. Give it to me hard and fast. Well, you guys got to hear my uh, high tick alert here. And uh, hey, you know what? <laughs> That's something you hear on the radio sh show here. If we have a high tick alert, which is usually a good sign for the market here, we get down and I give I give you uh, 20, I'm going to give you 30. I don't know if I'm going to waste my time on the uh, the watch list here, but uh, there we go. Nice little wedge pattern. Uh, walked it through, you know, of course I'm not on the air today, but this is uh, what you're going to be seeing next week. Let's see, where are we here? Let me get my IB up here. All right, so we're up about 300 bucks. You know, like I said, I have a feeling this might be uh, the mother of all, uh, you know, beginning of the Christmas rally. So could have uh, could have to get into a nice position here. Ugh, do I take it off here or not? Ugh, right now the greed factor. This could be a monster trade. It's three three hundred dollars up now. Um, Hi, Tuckert. Now get down uh, and give me twenty. Give it to me hard and fast. Yeah, I know you guys love that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you anyway. Uh, first time ever during a, uh, a watch list, I have to get down and do it. Cause you know what, it keeps you healthy, right? I'll do it fast. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my wires wrapped around my mic. Ux general oil seeing activity. Seven, eight, one, four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's Estec Echo, Oscar X-Ray. 20. Generate 1.20 at the ASCAT, 25 cents. 8, 9, 10. All right, that was 30. 30. 30 for 300. Go, market, go. 2020 hindsight here. Beautiful flag. Rolling with the homies. Give me that. Give it to me hard and fast. All right, just took it off. <clears throat> so we're out of it. Nice trade, people. Well, <laughs> I think I'm on the radio. All right, even though I do think we have a shot of even moving, push, pushing higher, I'll try to get back into that one. I usually take it off of a dual stochastic setup here. And uh, next setup here uh, that I know is hopefully we'll get a nice little flag set up here. And we'll just jump right back in there. So let's continue on with the watch list. Disney here still pushing higher. All right. As you can see, we got out at a good time here. And uh, just based off that dual stochastic, the next setup I'm going to be watching here 
is that flag. We're going to expect this to actually move higher, so we want to be able to kind of uh, get in and then get well, get out on a dual stochastic and then follow the dual stochastic here. So, you know, this is uh, something I pay attention to, the relationship between the slow and the fast stochastic. So we want to see how fast that fast stochastic rotates back down and how the slow, a slow stochastic reacts. Now, I have a slight, you know, like I like this uh, wedge pattern. I like that the 5-minute and the 60-minute, the daily here are all setting up. Um, so I want to be able to, uh, you know, maybe take another trade here if we get an, a decent pullback and it does set up like a flag. But um, you know what? Patience is everything, you know? The wedge pattern, I love the wedge pattern. I love that uh, dual stochastic the and the um, delay divergence on the one minute chart. And uh, we just let it wait, let it uh, set up for us, all right? So I'm gonna continue on. So I just want to show you this. It has the appearance of a flag. I'm going to get rid of this little line here. But it, everything has the appearance, that rotation. This is holding above 70 and uh, holding that 20 period moving average. So every, it did pop a little. We didn't get the signal. I wanted to see a little faster rotation back down here. But that's still a, a style of trading that I am, you know, uh, perfecting. You know, I want to get that divergence play down a little bit better and give us a better signal. It's a really great signal when you get a fast rotation. In some cases, the market's strong, or really strong, and it doesn't get a full rotation back on the fast, and we actually start turning back up. I've noticed that if we quickly get down to the 50, and we hold above 80, that's usually a sign of a, a stronger flag. But these are touch and go, like OSK here now, starting to rip higher, OSK looking good. Um, it still really looks good. Again, we just went over this. It's starting to move back up. The overall chart is, uh, and again, look at the S&P chart here, oversold on the hourly. So we could get some decent follow-through right back up. The um, OSK, um, yeah, it's a nice little trend line underneath us. And yeah, that's look, that's a nice little flag. I would expect this flag to actually break out here. So we have that divergence. We have a big divergence here. And again, we have that uh, position here, and you can see this this lower low and the higher low here. And this is typical of that lane divergence that we look for. And this is great because it's on the 60-minute time frame. All systems go on this one. Let me uh, copy and paste this chart real fast and send it out to everyone out there in the room while I um, while I can fast. Keep everyone up to date on this. Boom. Now let's go back here now. I just sent out that lane divergence to the setup here, and you actually you could see we rotated back down here. We're still pretty pretty strong here on the slow stochastics. We rotated back down to uh, underneath 20, but you can see we actually broke down through that 70 mark. Normally I'm looking for that to hold that 70 mark um, as we break down, but we're actually at the 60 and breaking down a little bit further. But it does look like a an okay flag. We also have a very minor trend line here, and I'm just concentrating a little on the futures uh, trade right now, just to kind of um, fill up some space here as I do some research and maybe take another shot here. This looks looks ideal. Let's take a look at the five-minute chart here on the SPS, SPX, excuse me. Um, Five minutes going against us, so that's the key here. You know, we always talk about watching that five-minute chart. If it goes up against you, you know, then you have that definite chance of, especially in the downward uh, trending market, you have to see this correct itself, maybe in bed, maybe pull back. Um, but when you have that dual stochastic and the five-minute overextended, then you have to be, you know, you have to really question that flag because you have that bigger time frame here working against you. So I'm just a little more concerned on that uh, five-minute rotation. It does look uh, looks like a you know an okay flag here forming, and I would actually expect this to break to the upside, based off of the you know 
situation at, at hand going into next week in this possible wedge pattern this first breakout so the flag looks okay it's a, it's a shot you know it's a higher risk shot it might be worth taking we could we have little profits on this so we could actually um, try to get right back in on that on the uh, ES here if I could bring up the, uh, the book trader here I'm oh, too already already too late Jesus <laughs> That's how fast it moves, but um, you know it does look okay. Damn! At five minutes, I'm gonna take a shot here on it. Even against that five-minute time frame. What else are we looking at? We let this there play out here. See, we're basically right in here at uh, 119 even, uh, 2019 even. I don't know. I wanted to see if this works, transmit. If we get an order up there at 20, if that automatically takes me out there for 50 bucks. I'm just going to test this out. I haven't used the book trader too much on this. Like I said, I had an issue with my, um, I had an issue with my um, uh, bracket trader. So we'll let this uh, see if we actually get a, a hit here at 2020. There we go. So we just made another 50 bucks there. And that's just, again, a fast rotation. You're seeing the strength here. You know, it's holding that 70 level. Um, it's starting to turn back up. So we just got uh, just another little 50 buck trade there. So looking pretty good on that. And that's what we want to do when we do the, we do the futures. And that, uh, and it has to be, you know, for me, you know, the bracket orders are really good. That's why, um, you know, you know, you could put a three tick, five tick, six tick, you know, whatever, how you ever want to work it out. In some cases, it requires a little bit more, in some cases a little less. The market here has really been moving, so we're starting to get those moves real fast. And, you know, two or three points is not an issue. This is a nice flag breakout. I expect a, a further move up. You have that VWAP line up here at 27. Uh, it really does look good here. You got the crossover. We probably have that five minute embedded to the upside. Uh, I would expect this to continue to move higher. I probably should have kept that on, but it doesn't matter. Um, you know, it's just about identifying the highest probability zones and then taking those and then letting them lock them in and no, no stress, you know. This looks like it has some more upside here. Um, zoom out here a little. Big, bigger channel. This is an old retracement trend line here. Small one. Look how we came up to it overnight in the overnight trade, and we popped a little bit higher this morning. Ran up here to 32 and then sold off pretty aggressively. I'm saying we have some more upside here. Hmm. Starting to turn back up on dual stochastics. Not in anything right now. Let's pause this and continue on with the uh, research here. Just want to show you one more time. Look at the, where we started off. Um, you know, this morning we came right down to that trend line. We came down to a, a textbook level here. 
uh, 60 minute time frame and that divergence. I want to cl clear up that divergence here a little bit better here. The, the big divergence here is when you get that higher low and that lower lower low. And you can see the results from this. And this is a flag, nice little pullback, flagged out, pop. This is like that secondary flag. We see this happen so many times on individual stocks. And, um, you know, it's almost the, the same same technique we use out of channel breakout stochastic rotation. It's your first break, and then you have the one, two, three pattern. It just makes sense to come down here. Uh, once you see that divergence, jump right on board. This has a good shot of actually breaking higher. We're not going to talk about that anymore. Uh, but that is definitely one of the best bets going into next week. And um, just one last look here on the ES. And you can see what happened here. We talk about that rotation and how fast these flags work and how fast they come back. That's why it's so important to recognize and be disciplined and stick to your indicators because time and time again, those indicators are going to be right. Just like in, in you know, all the analogies you could give, if you're sitting at a, a blackjack table and you know the dealer has a bus card, you have the tendency to you know profit a little bit better. The odds are a little bit better in your favor. And uh, that's when you might want to double down, take a bigger trade, do something uh, towards that effect. Same thing here. You're waiting for that opportunity. And you have to take that opportunity off when it tells you because it's just that's how the market, you know, moves in these cycles. You know, and if it continues to get overbought and continues to pull back and continues to get overbought, continues to pull back and continues to be overbought, why not each time it gets up to that level saying, you know what, I'm not going to deal with this. I'm going to take the profits and move on. Wait for the next setup. Simple. Case closed. Well, I could be messing around with this uh, for a while now, and, you know, I'm in the process of doing this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video. I'm going to stop it because I'm going to get into really some good stuff here. I'm going to send this out as part one of the watch list. You always know that part two has the golden stuff on it, but I did give a lot, well, got, give, give you quite a bit of information on this first video. Uh, but I want to get, I want to start the second video, which really breaks down all the great setups and stuff. And that's going to be uh, exclusively for members of Day Trading Radio. So if you got this video, you're watching us on YouTube, come check us out. Uh, we trade live every day, uh, daytradingradio.com. And if you, you like the style that I trade, you know, I think a lot of people uh, understand a very logical approach in the market and a very safe and you know, profitable approach to the market. So come on by every day from 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock plus, uh, you know, our nighttime shows and, and education and everything there. Day Trading Radio, hope to see you there in the room. And um, again, I'm going to start the other video, so this will be the, uh, the last that you'll see of the trading today. The other video will have uh, any other trades I take.